What indeed is currently going on in the skies? Multiple people are seeing, reporting, and filming not UFOs or UAPs in the traditional sense, but they are stating that they are seeing humanoids, humanoid entities in the sky. These sightings are even bringing up the conversation again about Project Bluebeam, the false stage alien invasion, the false flag alien invasion on Earth that's supposed to unite all the world governments under one banner. This very first video that I'm going to show has gone viral, has garnered millions of views. Now, many people have come up with multiple theories suggesting that the video shows a cross sign, a UFO, or even some people are stating that this is an angel sent by Jesus. And I honestly have to say, this really does suspiciously look like a humanoid, some kind of holographic humanoid. It's like, hey, Yaz, what does it look like? Like it. Actually, I don't know. God, I can't even see it. What the hell is wrong with No, it's, it's straight up and down. No, no, it has something on the side, Robert. Yeah, I got a picture. Oh. Yeah? Uh-oh, Iron Man, sorry. What is that? Might be the super people, Maldakian. It's holding its position straight up and down. It's one straight up and down and staying that way. You see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You all know when you see them. You guys see them. It's like a... This looks like a person with his arm sticking out. Oh, there it is, to the left. Right over here, look at John Angela. Yes. Yeah, I think that. Yes. Oh my God, give me left nose. That's not going to speak like the usual. Yeah. Oh, really zoom in or anything? Okay, you're low. Torture. Torture. I'm look oh there it is. I got it. The Michelin man? I don't know, it looks like a person almost. It almost looks like a person, right? Yeah, it looks like a person almost. Oh yeah. Exactly. Is it moving? Yeah, it's a person. It's a person? Yeah. I mean it appears like a person, but it's in a it's an anomaly. Does it look like a kind of look like, yeah, the marshmallow man, but like with a peak. You got something low, 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 low,
a place like a park where it's known that balloons do fly above is a good place to test it out because you can always say that, no, this is not a hologram. This is just another balloon. And people, for whatever reason, will buy it. Now, going all the way across the other side of the United States in Pennsylvania, something very similar was also seen in the skies as well. What was caught here in Philadelphia still appears to look like a humanoid, but this time it has a more blue appearance, a bluish appearance. This was actually seen in multiple areas of Philadelphia, with one person capturing this at night, dipping into the Delaware River. Really close. I had to jump my car, man. Holy shit, what is that? You see it? What is that? Going down to the water. Yo. Creepy man. What the hell? Stay over there. Talk up to me. Taking a dip. Yo, what the hell? Yo, I don't know what I am seeing right now. Is that Now the very last video still has not been explained, but the video where we saw this thing flying at night over the river and it dips inside the river, some people are saying that it could be some kind of drone. Now one person stated that it's probably a drone or a balloon with some LED lights attached. It also looks very small. Another person stated drone carrying a LED light strip from five below. And that is very possible. It's very possible what was seen here is a drone, but it also looks like what was shown in the other video at the end. And it also looks like what was seen in California, except like I said, it's blue. I am definitely not buying what was seen in California as some kind of drone or a balloon. That was definitely something that appeared to look more human, humanoid, stretching its arms and limbs out and trying to get a feel for itself. How it was stretching its arms out looks very similar to what was seen in the Brazilian hilltops where people were saying they, they saw these 10 foot aliens in Brazil. And if you look, it looks very similar to how it's stretching. If these are not drones, if they are not balloons, then what are we seeing play out 
is this really an example, a great example of Project Blue Beam being tested? We do know back in 2023, they were heavily, heavily talking about UFOs and aliens for a reason. And when I say they, I am talking about the government. Prior to 2023, UFOs, aliens, that was all just one big conspiracy theory. They did not exist. They were always either weather balloons or swamp gas. But in that one small year, the government was now taking claims of UFOs and aliens very seriously and how we needed to have this talk, how the Department of Defense was hiding information. And we had Congress and the whistleblowers come out and state that they are going to get us this information. People believe that the talks about UFOs and aliens slowed down in 2024, but I do not believe so. Look what happened in the Miami Mall. How many people thought that there were 10-foot shadow aliens invading the Miami Mall. And then we have that incident on the Brazilian hilltops. And we still have information coming out from the Pentagon that UFOs are hiding underwater and they could cause a security issue. They are still mentally preparing us for UFOs and aliens for a reason. And I do believe that whole thing that happened with Ventusky, where people are saying that whatever was seen, that massive thing that was seen in the waters where it was causing these 83 foot waves is still a part of that UFO and alien narrative as well. Because that location where that massive blob was seen, Bove Island, which was featured in a movie, Aliens vs. Predators. And the whole concept of that movie is that there's a giant pyramid under that island. And the satellites in that movie captured a massive heat energy that was very similar to what was captured on Ventusky. So the talks about UFOs and aliens in the media is still indeed very active. We are just paying less attention due to everything else going on in the world right now. Let's also not forget what was seen on the 2024 Economist cover, where we show the eclipse, the merging of the eclipse. But as above, so below, we also see the merging of all these nations because you can see every nation leader is in red and the blue. And if you look right below that, you will see these two colors merging together playing off like the eclipse above. So they are telling us there will be this great merger of all these leaders, all these countries together, and what exactly will cause this great merger. So like I said, there is a reason that we are hearing and seeing all this information about UFOs and aliens, not only from the media, but also from the government as well. They are once again preparing us. We're going to see more and more strange things in the skies and the waters as they continue to test these programs. But not all of them, like I said, not all of what we're seeing is a eye or a hologram or a man-made. But we also have to understand that not everything we see is man-made as well. Because CERN has admitted to opening portals. Opening portals to other dimensions, finding fourth dimensional particles, fourth dimensional beings, which they dub as spirits or ghosts. So while it is healthy to be skeptical and say that this could be a drone or a balloon, we also have to understand that we have organizations playing with things that they should not be playing with. And we also know that we do have sectors of the government, if not all the government, that always does not have its best intentions for the public. But in any case, I do want to hear from you. Do you believe these are actual entities, actual aliens, UFOs, or do you happen to believe these are nothing more than balloons, or drones, or are we seeing the actual testing phases, the alpha phases of Project Bluebeam? Please do comment below. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support. It is the end of human history. Not the end of history, the end of human-dominated history. History will continue with somebody else in control. You are now within minutes of horror. And this man right here, his name is Yuval Harari. 
He is the advisor to the founder of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, and he is going to say something absolutely mind-blowing. And as you're listening to him, remember, he is the advisor to the founder, the leader, the chairman of the World Economic Forum. If it was a question of, you know, humankind versus a common threat of these new intelligent alien agents here on Earth, then yes, I think that there are ways we can contain them. But if the humans are divided among themselves and are in an, in an arms race, then it's bec it, it becomes almost impossible. We often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. To contain this alien intelligence. And, and there is, I, I, I'm tending to think of it more in, in terms of, of, of really an alien invasion. That like somebody coming and telling <laughs> us that, you know, there is a fleet, an alien fleet of spaceships coming from planet Zircon or whatever with, super, with highly intelligent beings they'll be here in five years and take over the planet, maybe they'll be nice. Maybe they'll solve cancer and climate change, but we are not sure. This is what we are facing, except that the aliens are not coming in spaceships from planet Zircon, they're coming from the laboratory. 